When the Islamic Revolution comes in uh, 1979, the question again arises about what to do about non-Muslims. By and large, the dispositions of the 1906 Constitution are maintained in the sense that there is a paragraph in the Constitution which recognizes Zoroastrian Jews and Christians as official minorities in the country. Now, what about the rest? Well, there is another paragraph which recognizes Sunnis, and this is an innovation. It was a gesture of uh, goodwill towards Muslim-majority countries, all of whom at the time were, of course, Sunni. And there is another article in the Constitution which says that Muslims should treat non-Muslims kindly. Uh, however, the legal system of the country was also changed to reflect the inequalities inherent in the Sharia. Traditionally, uh, the Sharia contained a disposition whereby if one of the heirs of a non-Muslim converted to Islam, that person became the sole heir to the fortune of the non-Muslim. And this, of course, was an incentive uh, for somebody to convert. If you have a Zoroastrian merchants with four sons, and one of the sons becomes a Muslim, that Muslim automatically inherits the wealth of his father. And the three sons who have remained Zoroastrians don't get anything. Now, this disposition had been abolished, but it was reintroduced uh, after the uh, Islamic uh, Revolution. And so uh, Iran is now a country in which legal codes uh, discriminate against uh, non-Muslims in, in many ways.